Uh, you mentioned recruiting. So you mentioned Mike Norvell. He has not recruited well in the state of Florida. He's gone mm. elsewhere to get some of his better players. Billy Napier had a pretty good offseason run for the most part in recruiting and made some strides. Uh, how big is this game in the recruiting process? I'll, t- I'll take it from these two angles. Overall, like last five years, how important has it been? And then how important do you think it is right now? That's a good question, Mark, because Florida ran the state for a little while um, under Dan Mullen. And it didn't really amount to much of going and dominating in-state recruiting in the state of Florida. And, look, that was one reason Florida decided to move on. Um, Now, there's been some recruiting battles this year between the two schools and uh, one big target, Roderick Kearney, over the summer, committed to Florida State. Florida flipped him, um, you know, late October. Uh, big-time offensive lineman from here in, in Orange Park, uh, right down the road from here where I am in Jacksonville. Uh, and now another offensive lineman target, Lucas Simmons. Um, he recently visited Florida for the South Carolina game a couple of weeks ago. It, you know, Florida – May give you some things to think about. I think when it's all said and done, he probably sticks with his commitment to Florida State, but there's, there's another one right there. But there doesn't seem to be those Dalvin Cook battles. Uh, if you go back to you know that, that battle and everybody thinking he's going to Florida, it's a high-profile recruitment, and he goes to, to FSU and spurns the Gators at the end. You, you're not getting those type of battles. You know, Florida's – in those type of big battles with Georgia and Alabama. They're not in those top – in Miami now. And they're not in those type of big battles with Florida State. And that that's still holding true right now. So, yeah, Mark, uh, Mike Norville in his third year, like I said, I, I don't know how far a win with, versus Florida would take recruiting in the next month going into early signing day. I, most of the time that really doesn't make a difference um, when, when it's all said and done. Uh, and there's not – like I said, there's not too many targets that are really fighting over – uh, right now, where I think a win would push one way or the other, Lucas Simmons might be the only one I'm I'm bringing up there uh, along the offensive line. So, but either way, I still think you know, especially looking at Florida and maybe even Miami, both teams while they're in the top ten can still do a better job of recruiting the in-state elites and not letting them get away from in-state. But Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, they're not worried about Florida State doing that. They are more worried about Florida and Miami doing it. But right now, they're not worried about Florida State keep, keeping that top in-state of Florida talent. So connected to that topic, um, going back as far as I've been watching college football, which is further than I'd like to admit, the <laughs> 80s and the 90s were pretty much, you know, there could be an argument that college football stopped and started in the state of Florida between those three schools. And Sometimes all three of them were Mm -hmm. near top five status, usually two out of the three up until about 10 years ago. And now we've come to a place now that Florida State dropped off after Jimbo left where it's kind of like none of them are, you know, and and it's almost like uh, as I try to gauge it, whether it's in the offseason based on recruiting usually or during the season, obviously based on the results on the field, I'd say for the last five years. It's been like month to month who seems to be having the momentum and where the surge seems to be. For a while, it seems to be Miami. Then it seems to be Florida. Obviously, it was Dan Mullen for his first few years. Mm-hmm. Under It was like, okay, well, this is Florida's. Uh, now it seems maybe it's Florida State. Like, <laughs> it's it's nobody is taking that thing over, and it seems to change month to month as to who has the best trajectory going forward. Yeah, Mark, and, and even for Florida State, and this is look, this is not to down them at all, but do we think what they're doing is sustainable right now? Like, will this push into next year? I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not saying it won't, but I don't. I can't sit here and write with a pen and a permanent marker saying that it's going to be. Uh, yeah. they're, they're relying on a lot of transfers this year. Who've look? That's that's the world of college football right now. Can you replicate that year after year? I just I'm not saying they can't, not saying they want, but you know, I, Florida even in early. Uh, in Dan Muller's tenure, had a lot of success through the transfer portal, and it went a long way. Uh, and you know, you had your Van Jeffersons and your Trevon Grimes and your Jonathan Grenards, who guys who came in and really made a difference. But it wasn't sustainable. I still think your best path is kind of like they say in the NFL. But your best path in college football still to, is first recruiting high school athletes and, and making sure those guys are your key contributors. And the transfer portal 
is a lot like the, the NFL free agency. You go fill in your gaps there, and then that can make the difference. I'm not sure you can rely on it year in and year out, team chemistry, all that comes into play. You know, a lot of people say that with the NFL too. You build your team in the draft and you supplement through through free agency. I still think we're so early in the transfer portal. Some teams might be able to do that. I'm not sure, but if you're looking at Florida State, I don't what what are, are what what they're doing is that sustainable uh, next year? And some of these transfers not being on their team next year, uh, Florida still Florida's going to have a mass exodus when this season's over with. Uh, of guys transferring out and then probably a mass exodus coming in the transfer portal uh, while Billy Napier manages his roster early on as well with a good recruiting class. Uh, Miami, good recruiting class at the same time. They'll be relying on, on the portal as well. So, uh, Mark, it might be um, you know, it, how sustainable is what Florida State's doing and how fast can the young guys for Florida State or for Florida and Miami contribute? 